a philosophical effort to explore the nature of evil got answers from the Lord himself. The destroyer of all evil. Thus blessed a banker who with no writing experience penned a novel during his long Mumbai commutes to office. But we are a generation of logic and rationale. Mythology is questioned and disbelieved by many. The Immortals of Meluha is rejected more than 20 times before literary agent Anuj Bahari and author Amish decide to publish it themselves, little knowing the surprising overnight success that lies in store. As readers demand more of the Lord's story, a larger platform is needed. The kind of success that is the domestic equivalent of the Beatles and J.K. Rowling, who incidentally along with Amish share a record number of initial rejections, would not have been possible without the content. That is a combination of Amish's imagination, philosophical thinking and storytelling skills melded with the myths and legends of one of the most popular gods of the Indian pantheon. Innovative marketing does wonders in talking to the masses. The story of a human who turned into God. Many kind believers step in to enrich the story with their talent. The Shiva Trilogy has now sold more than 1.7 million copies and 43 crores in sales. It is the fastest selling Indian book series ever, creating another record. The Hindi translations of Meluha and Nagas are the first regional language books to enter the top 50 national bestseller list. But the believers are continuing to take it to newer heights. Amish is India's first literary pop star. What we are seeing today is a publishing phenomenon, nothing less. To have this here today in celebration for a book is indeed a historic moment uh, for the country for literature, for book lovers. I wish that uh, there are many more amongst you that will be inspired by today and this evening and indeed by Amish Tripathi to write and to reverse time almost and come back to the age when a book was a lifelong possession. I really am here today because I seriously, seriously love the books. I really did. It was an eye opener. It was absolutely fantastic. I am total fan of this young man. It's good news for everybody in the publishing industry, the writers and the readers, because he's almost expanded the market of existing readers. And in doing that, it helps every single writer. You know, when the level of the sea rises, all the boats rise. I like the whole concept that he's come out with, that there is a Mahadev in each of us. And that's a very beautiful concept, because he's right. I've done a lot of albums, I've done a lot of films, but it's the first time that I've done a trilogy for a book. I've made a part of Shiva. Shiva Trilogy is releasing, it is sold out, and I know because I've been trying to buy it for the last one week. 4 lakh copies of the Oath of the Vayu Putras has already been sold. You know, this, the Oath of the Vayu Putras is the biggest selling, I'm not plugging the book, it's the biggest selling work of fiction. I like this book, it's a brilliant book and a great interpretation of Lord Shiva. We have a really special guest with us, arguably the best-selling Indian author of all time, Amish Tripathi. It's wonderful to have you, you with us. Thank you. Today, an ancient and rich philosophy finds a new voice.